Today let's learn custom transformation. Previously we had seen translate, scale and rotate transformation. In today's video tutorial let's learn about custom transformation. So custom transformation takes the form of a square matrix. A stands for scaling the drawing horizontally, B skews drawing horizontally, C skews drawing vertically, D scales drawing vertically, E moves drawing horizontally and F moves drawing vertically. So these are the six parameters our method takes. So our method is transform and set a transform. So here are the URLs once again for translate, scale and rotate transformations. Well the translate, well the transform method is additive. Each time you call transform method it builds upon previous transformation matrix. While set transform takes the same six argument but it but it sets the matrix independently that is it doesn't depend on previous transformations so here is our canvas i'll start by drawing a rectangle filled with blue color well x axis 5 pixels and y axis 5 pixels 100 pixels width and 75 pixels height let's have a look it on the browser let me increase the width to 150 pixels and have a look okay it looks fine now using transform method that is our custom transformation method that is transform I'll shift the origin of our canvas to a different point here I scale I'll take it to 0 and skew 0 skew vertical 0 scale vertical 0 well I'll move it 20 pixels horizontally and 20 pixels vertically and just copy and paste the same rectangle and change its color to red so that you recognize but nothing actually displays here because our scaling factor that is a and point D are 0 comma 0 which means you can't see that is these two point a and D you can't actually see the rectangle because they are scaled to 0 I'll change the horizontal scaling to 1 still nothing displays because it's like holding a paper horizontally you you see nothing here i'll change the d parameter to 1 2 that is moving its scaling property of what vert, a vertical scaling so now you see it and the origin is shifted to 20 comma 20 that is 20 pixels x axis and 20 pixels y axis here i'm changing it to 10 pixels each so that to show you the differences here that's it still these two points are same using transform that is custom transformation I changed the origin of our canvas now let me show you skew I'll change I'll skew the drawing horizontally so this is horizontal skewing I can even negate it Now let me show skewing in vertical direction. I'll take 0.5 itself. Now negative skewing. As I already said you, this transform method is actually additive that is each time you call transform method it builds up it builds upon the previous transformation matrix so now I'll make the skew 0 comma 0 that is horizontal skewing and vertical skewing as 0 but still we can see the skewing applied for the third rectangle too I'll make it gray 
Well, we have 0, 0,04 skewing vertically and horizontally, but still there is a 0 0.5 skewing in a vertical direction that is because of transform method which is additive. So I'll change it to set transform which doesn't depend upon previous transformations. So this is the difference. Now every other thing things about set transformation is same as our transform method like skewing moving and scaling we could skew it in both direction that is horizontally as well as vertically so this is vertical as well as horizontal skewing by 0 0.5 I'll just put back my third rectangle too here and show skewing with respect to set transformation too. I'll change the y axis to 200 pixels. So now I'll apply skewing, horizontal skewing to set transformation method just want to show you that both these transform and set transform have similar properties except for the difference that transform depends upon that is builds up upon the previous transformation matrix but set transform doesn't please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and like this video on YouTube.